Okay, mm -hmm. always a powerhouse in the Miss Universe competition is Colombia. And representing <laughs> her country now, please welcome Maria Fernanda Aristizabal. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Hello, Diane. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. And I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank you so much. I'm greetings for, from Colombia. Yeah, wow. <laughs> exciting to be talking to you. I'm in Manila and you're in the Philippines. And they call you, uh, te llaman Mafes. Mafe. Mafe, yes. It's like my nickname. Yeah. Your name is Mafe. Okay. <laughs> so Mafe, uh, first of all, um, congratulations for being appointed. Um, the Miss Universe is two months away, about two months away. Um, what is going on in your mind, in your heart? In how what are your feelings for the upcoming Miss Universe? Oh my god. I have to say that the moment is finally happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> because you, all the people know that history, that story, sorry. Uh, but I'm so happy because I will meet very soon all the candidates and I will be able to know about the different cultures, different countries. And I'm so happy for that because I'm growing a lot through this ex experience. So um, I can wait. <laughs> um, you know, um, our candidate, the Miss Philippines, used to always go to Colombia to do some training before going to Miss Universe for many years. So may I ask you, so I guess the, the training there is super, super good. So yeah. can I, what are some of the things that you have been doing to, to prepare for the Miss Universe? The, the preparation here, it's true. Here is very complete. And thanks to my organization, Miss Universe Colombia organization, it, it's it's so strict and I will I will grow a lot because every day I practice in my makeup classes, of course, my catwalk classes, my my English, of course, because I'm improving a lot, thanks God. <laughs> and but the but the most important thing is that because that we have a psychologist and I love the way that they are preparing me in, in my emotions to manage my emotions to to grow in my mental health because that's important and, and it's good to to know and to to have clear to Miss Universe platform and to your competition. And so that's the principal thing. But in Colombia we have a lot of talented people and that's why people come to prepare here. Oh, that's very interesting. So you have, uh, you speak to a psychologist regularly to prepare yes. you mentally? Week weekly, yeah. Weekly, I have a session with my psychologist and talk di about different topics. And um, I'm talking with her about my, I don't know, my thoughts, my feelings, my relationship with my family, with my friends, with the organization. That's good because you can, you can express yourself. Yeah, well, that's that's very interesting. Now, I know that you've moved on and very excited about this upcoming New Orleans, but I was very interested reading up on you about what happened to you, that you won the Miss Columbia Universe competition in 2019, but unfortunately, you were not able to go because the, the franchise for the Miss Universe Columbia had changed, so someone else went. I mean, uh, I can't, that must have been a very tough moment for for you can you tell us um how it was and how you were able to recover and bounce back from that situation thank you diane for the question because yes it was a, a difficult moment of course uh, to me but because i the situation it was uh, of uncontrollable it was uh, difficult because my dream uh, it was to to go into miss universe and it was like the normal situation, but in in one moment it happened the the COVID nineteen and then the change of the franchise and I couldn't go and it was so I was in shock in shock. So the the time passed and the time continued and I started to recognize myself as a human being as and I was full of emotions, but I started to to enjoy my present moment and and change that that talk minds and that that talk um feelings yeah 
and and change it for for good ones and i started to reading and i started to meditate and it helps me a lot so i was i was better i, I getting better at that time and nowadays i'm enjoy a lot this moment because finally ha it's finally happening and i couldn't imagine that i'm i will be here and enjoying this present moment and i will go into miss universe to represent my country makes me so proud <laughs> Can you tell me about your family, like you, how many sisters you have, and brothers, your parents, and um, how did you grow up to enter into pageantry finally? Yes. Okay. My family is um by is my father, my mother, my sister, my brother, and I am the the youngest of the okay. of the family. <laughs> and I have a niece and a nephew, Jeronimo and Emilia. They are uh, three and ten years old. And my family, it's my biggest pillar in my life. And they are supporting me every day of my life. And that makes me so happy. I'm feeling very, very confident. Yes. And about the, the contest and who inspiring me, yeah. I, I, have to, I have to say that it was more by myself. Every, every day of my life, I started to create that dream in my mind. And it was so good because now it's a reality. But more than uh, who inspired me, it's more what inspired me. And for me, it's so important to share awareness and, and to create awareness in my, uh, all around my country. And that's exactly that, I, that I'm doing right now. So that, that, that's the reason because Miss Universe platform is a, is a huge opportunity for me and for every uh, of the candidates to share our advocacy, our uh, social work, our mentality. So it's it's a huge opportunity. I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. Well, uh, I was reading about your advocacy. It's make every moment count. Is that correct? Yeah, it's make every moment worth it. But that is, is my social work. I, I want to, to explain good because okay. my advocacy, it's as as always water and my social work is make every moment worth it so i i can explain you about a uh, of every each of one. <laughs> oh yeah please tell us about both okay as always water is about uh, water scarcity and water scarcity is it's so important nowadays because it's it corresponds uh uh it's a it's a topic that corresponds us uh, as a human beings and to take action of my advocacy, I started to create that hashtag as always water. And it's, it's, it's so nice because I will share that topic around all around my world, but not only in, in all around my country, sorry, but not all around my country, Colombia, uh, but in the whole, in the, in the universe, when I will be the, the opportunity to take a microphone and to, and to express myself about the, the consciousness that, that we will have to, to, um, to create in our minds, to start for ourselves, to, to save the, uh, the water and, and different things. So it's, it's very important that hashtag, because you can, you can create that, that awareness. What is one thing that each that's that a person can do to help uh, help this uh, problem with water that we have? Like you know, people might say, "What can I do?" Yes, of course. I have to say first first of everything is start for yourself because when you start for yourself in your home, you you will change your world and. And at the same time, you will change uh, the world of your family by your example, by your, by yeah, by your example. And at the same time, people can look at you and 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 see what is the purpose of save saving water because it's for the future generation. It's it's for saving our lives, and it's it, we are composed for water. Our bodies are composed for water. So water is everything for us, and it's important. It's no. Uh, normal topic no it's important okay and make each moment okay. worth it <laughs> and my social and my social work is make every moment worth it for me through my uh, my own story it taught me a lot about being in the present moment and be grateful of the of every second of my life and that's important because when you're present in in your when you are living your present, you can you you not focusing on your future and on your past. You're 
you are in your present and you're relaxed and, and you don't get overwhelmed every day. So that's good. And I think when you when I will share with all the people around my country, Colombia, about make every moment worth it, it makes me feel so happy. And it's like my mission of life. And I know that I'm here to to recognize the, the power of social media. And when I create that, the, the hashtag make every moment worth it, a lot of people reach me to ask a lot of different things. And I will share with them all my, my, my thoughts and my everyday life and my habits. And that's so important for me. Yes. Can you, what are some of the habits that you do to practice your uh, your your social work make every moment count like for example like with us women today all over the world we've been through so many things in the last couple of years can you share this just a few habits that you do of course as i will say the 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 principal habits for me it was meditation at the beginning because when you can meditate you can be present you can be breathe in the in the perfect way and you can be grateful of every part of your body of every situation that that life gives you and the god and when when god give you gives you a situation you can change every situation uh, depends of your perspective so first is meditation second is read uh, different books that helps you to understand the life and and get inspired uh, from other people or different authors for me that's so important i love to listen music and it makes me and that makes me feel so happy so i i feel activated i, I feel happy i'm dancing in my home um, mm -hmm. Yes, that, that are the habits that I'm that I'm doing, and not not a hard that that not are harder uh, habits. They are good and and easy, and you can do it, and every person can do it and improve your life. So I will invite every person to do that different habits that I will help them a lot. Nice. So you have had uh, two winners, Colombia, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And recently, Paulina, of course. Mm -hmm. um, have you? Have you had any uh, talks with them? Like, uh, well, Paulina, maybe. Have you have you spoke to her? Did she give you any tips? No. Uh, no? No, with Paulina, with Paulina, no yet. I hope very, very soon because I love the process that she did. She did an amazing job. And every one of the representatives from Colombia did an amazing job. And I admire them a lot. But I I talk with different with different participants, but not with Paulina yet. <laughs> I there hope there's there a lot of pressure uh, for you to to win, like for Colombia. I mean, how much does Colombia want another Miss Universe? <laughs> no, I think it's not about the pressure. It's about our admiration that I will say before, because every every one of the candidates and representatives from Colombia did an amazing job and did the, the, their best. And when you are when you trust yourself, when you are confident about you, you're always focused on your process, on your life and enjoying your present. So for me, it's the most important thing. And mm -hmm. I'm looking for my for my moment and for my present. And and I'm only um, I I'm sure that I will make my country Colombia proud of me and all of you that are supporting me of course every day I will I will make you uh, proud every day <laughs> but but Miss Universe is very popular in Colombia correct yes. like it's like uh, you know like when when it's a Miss Universe competition almost the whole country is watching just like in the Philippines right <laughs> yes, I think I think the Philippines here is here in, in Colombia. We we have a lot of fans and they're so supportive, they're so kind, and that's so good as as for us queens, but for us as a queens, yes. Who are some of the universe uh winners that you look up to? Sorry? Who are some of the Miss Universe winners that you admire or look oh, up to? Okay. I love that question because I have many, but I love uh, Sosibini Tunsi. I love her speech. 
I love the way that she expressed herself with that confidence. Uh, she has a very clear message and, and she knows what, what she did. And, and I love that. I love the, the performance of Katriona, of Pia, because they, are, they were so, so confident too. And for me, it's the most important thing when you can show up your your qualities, your process and your preparation at the, at the stage. And yes, I think they are the, the the best Miss Universe or the Miss Universe that I had in my mind right now. Yeah. And what do you think about the new ownership of the Miss Universe? Uh, do you think that's going to affect who will win? Do you think there will be searching for different qualities for a Miss Universe? I don't think it will be a, it will affect because in the, at the moment I will I will see the first interview that she did I will realize I really I realized that she's such an incredible and inspirational woman and that's good because she she knows how to give a very clear message and that's inspiration and I love the the phrase that she always said that is transformational leadership and nowadays nowadays is so important and I I I'm always looking for uh, transform realities around my myself and and of my people of my country and uh, the Miss Universe platform around the world maybe hopefully so for me she's a very good person very good woman and so inspirational and I'm I'm, I'm so happy because I will meet her very soon at Miss Universe hopefully and yes she, she's a great leader do you think uh, what do you think are the qualities now that should be in the next Miss Universe? For me, it's gratefulness because when you're grateful, you're always your destiny is be happy, is to be happy. So it's so beautiful when you can share with all other people your happiness because you you will serve to others, you will share your knowledge uh, with others, and that's good because you will you will build society you will build a, a better world uh, starting with you so for me it's gratefulness totally okay i wanted to ask about your your trip now to new orleans can you tell us uh how many luggages you're going to be bringing and how oh many <laughs> outfits i think it will be maybe 10 suitcases or uh, yeah. i don't know because there are a lot uh, with the different outfits and yeah so i don't know yet because i'm starting with that <laughs> do you have already your gowns do you have the design the colors no and yet no yet they're in the process and i'm so so excited for that with my organization we are working so hard um, for that but no no yet <laughs> Are you able to tell us who is the designer who's going to do your gowns or no? Yeah, yeah, for the final gown, it will be um, Alfredo Barraza. That is a Colombian and so talented designer. Yes, yeah. and that, that he will be the designer. Yeah. Many times uh, Alfredo Barraza made the gowns for the Philippines also. Yes, yes. He is so talented that every person around the world will be will, will love their work. <laughs> And how many people will be going with you to New Orleans? Uh, how many people in your team? I don't know. I, I hopefully a lot of people from my family, my friends from school, but I don't know yet because they are looking if if it's possible. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah. think many people. No, I mean, but with your working team, like maybe your stylist, ah. your, uh, your hairdresser or makeup tutor or no? Or no, just I I don't think so. But uh, I think it's uh, my the, the um, Miss Universe organization team. It, we have a lot of people here, but I don't know it it will go to to New Orleans because it's it's difficult for 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 many of them. But I, I hope everyone mm -hmm. can go. <laughs> I saw that you had visited New York recently. Can you tell us about your experience there? You went to the Miss Universe organization headquarters yes no well diane i i have to say that i love new york city it's a beautiful city full of inspirational corners people it's like in their in their worlds but it's it's so beautiful to to look at every place and get inspired about different spots 
So I, I love that that city and in at the Miss Universe quarters offices. Uh, it was an amazing moment for me because, as I said, it was a dream come true for me. It it finally it's up it's finally happening, and I I get so much fun because I did my makeup tutorial and I'm um I was improving uh, my my English. So it's it was a it was a like a embarrassing moment for a little bit at the beginning but then I, I will I get confident because they're so kind no it was amazing <laughs> you also had you were able to be with Arnas Sandu our yeah. now at the smile train event yeah uh, yeah exactly here in Colombia in Medellin it oh, was Colombia okay uh -huh, How here Colombia in a in a um, event way of Smile Train that is a foundation that uh, Miss Universe supports too, and it was beautiful because we can share quality time with different kids that are suffering about the, um, the cleft lip, and it was inspiring so inspiring for me because Harness it's a beautiful woman with a such an, an incredible clear message, and I I could learn a lot of things from her and I love that she came to my to my country and know about the the people that we are here and the happiness that we have as a Colombian people and so so glad for that it's it was a huge opportunity that my organization gives me and that uh, that moment gives to me yes um what do you feel are your best qualities that can make you win the Miss Universe crown? I always say that it was, that is my authenticity, but I want to say that with that authenticity, it's it's close to gratefulness, happiness, living my present moment. And with that, I will share to every person that I met my experiences of life. And I am always like a sponge. I love to share my the information that I know. And I love to to know about people experiences because I I know I learn a lot from them. And that's the most beautiful thing when you can share with other people. And that that is the biggest opportunity that Miss Universe get, will give me. And I will take advantage of that. I will take advantage of, of the, this moment because it's once at a time and it will be amazing. So I, I think the qualities are are many, but I will focus in the, all the preparation that I did this month and be myself. Yes. Um, can you? Sh what are some of the hobbies that you like to do? Do you, do, do you play any sports or... I, I practice gym. I make, I love my uh, doing exercise at the gym. I love running or jogging at the streets with my friends. I love to share quality time with my family, with my niece and my nephew, because they're so innocent, but they're so funny. And they yeah. talk me a lot of different things because they're kids and kids are, have a, a beautiful soul. So I, I love to learn from them. And yes, for me, going to, to a theater, and listen to music, as I said. I love listening to music. And I one day I will launch a song. I don't know how, but <laughs> I will practice it and improving my voice and every day launch a song. <laughs> ah, you're taking singing lessons, huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so you you are often one of the top favorites in front runners in the Miss Universe blogs. How do you feel about that? Wow, <laughs> Diane, thank you. Thank you for doing that question because it's the perfect moment to say thank you to every person that always are supporting and and believing in me. I oh I know what is the exactly feeling when you are in the in the hot peaks and when you're not. And mm -hmm. I and I prefer to stay neutral uh, and keep focus on my preparation because yeah. that that's better. And but I have to say that I want only want to to make my country Colombia proud and every one of these 
person that are supporting me a lot every day around different countries too because that's so amazing thing that different countries countries are, are supporting their candidates but at the same time um, my 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 participation so that's important for me and I will say thank you thank you so much so the Miss Universe is going to be right after Christmas so are you going to have Christmas in Colombia uh, yes, I will be um, like a few days, but then I will come back to Bogota because I'm prepar preparing myself here with the organization team. So I will enjoy uh, like a few days, but not all the, uh, the December month. <laughs> so uh, are you going to be still on a diet even during Christmas? Do you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> It's once at a time. This universe is once at a time. And I will to, to enjoy with love this moment and live this present because I I have to do it. It's it's my dream. And and yes, it's one month. <laughs> and yeah. then continuing with my ha good habits and, and no more. But yes, I will I will continue with my diet. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw in one interview that you had said that. Uh, God, you believe that God puts you at the right place at the right time. Uh, can you talk to us about your faith in God? Is that also a big part of your preparation for the Miss Universe? Of course, it's it's beautiful to talk about God because He's everything for me, and He's always by my side in in every moment, in every situation, in every question here is with me <laughs> and i'm so so glad because i can i can see my my evolution in every in every area of my life and it's thanks to god and i always read about my about a i have a, a book that is is called a life with purpose and it talks about different things from god and from story of god of jesus and it was it was so important for me because it makes me feel so confident and trust myself, trust in my qualities, mm -hmm. and that every person is is different and every person has different qualities. And you have to love your 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 I don't know your personality. Yes, you yeah. have to love your personality because it's the tool that God gives you to live this life and to share with others. So God is everything for me. Amen. Amen. Is that book, uh, is that the book of Rick Warren? Your purpose? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you read it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, I, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I was like in the, in the um, 20 day because there are four days. Uh, it's so beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. I, oh, I, I noticed that in most of your interviews, you always uh, mention God. So that's why I wanted to ask you about that question. So I guess, uh, you're joining the Miss Universe, and whether you win or not, it's you are su surrendering it to to God's will, also. Yes, exactly. This experience is all for for Him, and I will put all my energy to to give you this moment to Him and to to be like a vehicle to transform realities, because that's the a phrase that that I will. Um, that I will love to to express with others because I know love, uh, God mm, makes me makes me a good person to share with others my 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 thoughts, my feelings, my experiences. That's that's the way that I live my life, and I want to to make Him proud too. <laughs> that's nice. That's wonderful to hear. All right. So, <laughs> what date will you be going to New Orleans? When will you be traveling there? I think it will be, uh, it's possible three, three of January. Wow, that's super close. I can feel the excitement from you. And, you know, mm -hmm. of course, you know that you also have a lot of Filipino supporters and fans. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. because Colombia and Philippines, we have a history, a rivalry and <laughs> some sort of Sorry. rivalry in this universe competition. <laughs> So please greet your Filipino fans who will be watching this. So first, Mabuhay Philippines. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say and I want to send all my 
greetings to the Filipino people. And I want to say to that I I admire them because I love the way that they support their queens and respect their process and, and enjoy every moment that their queens lives because it's beautiful. As a queen, I have to say that's so important for us. It's so valuable. And and it's good to to have that kind of people surrounding yourself. So I wanted to to say that I, I admire it. I admire them a lot and thank you. Thank you for supporting me every day and for being here with me because I always uh, receive their messages and I love your candidate and your representative Celeste is so beautiful. I was reactioning uh, from different stories from her and she's, uh, I am I answered back and I love, I want, I'm so happy because I will meet her very soon and meet her, meet different contestants. But I want to say thank you to the Filipino people and salamat, Philippines. <laughs> wow, that's a Filipino word. <laughs> uh -huh, two, only two. But please, if I will go to Philippines, please teach me different ones. <laughs> bueno, Mapute, Miss Colombia Universo, muchas gracias por su tiempo y uh, vaya con Dios. See you <laughs> Amen. Amen. Or Sorry? <laughs> See you in New Orleans. See you in New Orleans. Thank you, Diane. It's so it was so nice to meet you. You are so kind and so beautiful person. And yes, I will I will see you at New Orleans. <laughs> love to chat. Love, love to chat. Colombia. Yeah, we'd love to chat with you more.